Hey guys, uh, me again. Right, so today I'm gonna do a jung, uh, no, a laning fiddle mid guide uh, kind of thing. AP. Uh, I was gonna do maybe jungle or lane. Someone asked me to do whatever. Uh, I thought lane would just be more fun though, and yeah. So I'm against a Lux mid. Um, we have a jungle Trogath, they have a jungle of Mumu. Uh, yeah, you can see the teams. Um, so, right. Um, Fiddle, he's usually, he's not really played much anymore, but um, he used to be played quite a lot. Oh yeah, I've got the pumpkin head skin as well, just, you know, pointing that out. That's from like Halloween, a year and a half ago. Right, so um, anyway, where was I? Uh, he's not really played anymore, but when he is played, he's usually played as a jungler. Uh, he used to be played quite a lot, but then I guess more and more champions came out, blah blah blah. Right, um, so yeah, you'll hardly ever see him and quite a lot of people don't really know how to play against him, but he is quite hard to play against, you kind of, you can't really trade with him, you've got to sort of go all in and interrupt his heal, but I'll get to that. So um, yeah, runes, uh, runes, I go, you can either, you can basically build fiddlesticks and play him two different ways, you can either go sort of the utility tanky build where you're sort of you're filling in the role of sort of a big CC bot, a lot of tank and a lot of damage and it's a really good build and it's actually what I'm playing this game or you can go sort of glass cannon, AP, lots and lots and lots of damage, fiddlesticks which can sort of instantly blow up an entire team which is also really really good. So um, yeah my runes for this sort of like tanky utility fiddle are move speed quintessences, my Marks are magic pen, my seals are armor, and my blues are magic resist. So you can see I've got like 33 armor, 48 magic resist, 394 move speed with boots, which is a lot. And then I've got, you press C, 9 spell pen. So, um, right, that's his runes, and if I went glass cannon, I would go like full AP runes. So, um, yeah, that's runes masteries. Obviously, for this tanky utility sort of fiddle, I'm going zero nine twenty one. I'm getting all the good masteries and defense, sort of, so I can stand in the middle of a team fight and just sort of, you know, having fiddle being tanky is really good because of his like ability to basically stand there and use his drain, which heals him for damage, which is really nice because you can just tank a lot. Okay, so um. Mm -hmm. So if I was going um, full AP fiddle, I would probably go 2109 or something like that. So, yeah, here you can see I'm against a lot, which, I don't know, I'd say it's maybe one of the easier lanes for fiddle. But, um, she doesn't have an interrupt, which is nice, I guess. But, um, she's long ranged and she can do quite a lot of burst damage, which fiddle's quite susceptible to early game. So, um, yeah, I rank up my abilities. I get one point in E first and I leave it there until I have to rank it up and then I sort of switch between my fear and my drain depending on how I feel, what I think would be best, all that. So um, yeah, uh, Fiddles, I'll talk about his, um, like his role in a team fight. Basically um, Fiddle, you kind of want to be, you don't want to be the right up at the front but you want to be just behind the person right up at the front, basically coming in and uh, using your fear, which when you rank it up lasts for three seconds, which is just insane. Like that's just nuts. And um, yeah, you want to be using that on basically whoever's doing the most damage that's in range. And then you want to be draining the person who's feared because obviously, if they right, I'll go through his abilities actually right after this because I'm talking about his abilities when you might not know what they do. Right, so yeah, and you want to be draining the person that um is feared because that's good because they can run out of drain, it's sort of channeled and you have to stand still to use it, which can be quite annoying. And obviously you want to be using crossed arm um, just before, like, actually no, I need to go through his abilities before I do this, right? Okay, so his abilities, his passive, um, his passive is nearby enemies have their magic reduced, magic resist reduced, so it's basically giving you, you and everyone around you, 10 spell pen, which is really nice. Um, yeah, you see, I nearly kill Lux, but she flashes and the Mumu comes in. Right, okay, so yeah, 
gives basically everyone around you spell pen and it goes up as you level up. So and then his key is a fear. Sort of it's the same as a stun, but it's like instant and it's good. It's really good. Uh drain. Drain deals damage to an enemy and it heals you for a percentage of the damage dealt. It goes up to 80% of the damage dealt as you rank it up to rank 5 from 60% in rank 1. And then his E is a silence that bounces between enemies in range of it. Silences them for like just over a second. Uh, and yeah, that's really good, like early, late, all game. And it's good because you can obviously silence people so they can't interrupt your drain, which means you can heal for longer, blah blah blah. And then his ultimate is a crow storm, which basically you channel it for a second and a half and then you look you can see the range here uh, it's got yeah pretty decent range you can generally you'll want to use it over walls um, and whatnot uh, and then yeah it deals a lot of damage at rank one it deals like you can see it does 125 damage a second for five seconds that's like crazy that's over 600 damage with no AP um, so you can, as you can imagine, as you start ranking that up, it will be able to basically kill entire enemy teams if they don't position correctly or get magic resist. And it's one of the most powerful ultimates in the game, but also as you can see it's like a two and a half minute cooldown. So it's also one of the biggest cooldowns in the game. Uh, so, my summoner abilities. I use ignite and flash, you can go, I think that's one of my yeah, like annoying death. Uh, just me being a massive noob. Don't worry, I don't continue being a massive noob this game. Um, okay, so yeah, where was I? His summoner abilities. You can I go ignite, flash. You can go ghost flash, exhaust flash. You can use a lot of summoner abilities on fiddlesticks. Obviously, smite flash would almost definitely be the ones you would use. Flash is basically necessary on fiddlesticks just because you want to be able to get your crow storm into range. Here you can see the nice cheeky crow storm. Get an assist on that, I guess. Um, up that. Right, so I'm up to two assists. So yeah, uh, where was I? I was on summoner abilities. Blah blah. Oh yeah, my items. I'll just point out that I've bought a cage's lucky pick as my first item. You want to get your gold per five items in as early as possible if you're going to be buying gold per five. Um, okay, so next. Um, where was I? I was talking about role in team fights. So yeah, I was just saying basically, you'll see later on the game you'll get a good gist of how you play them in team fights. You basically want to be sort of almost in the middle of the team fights, but not quite, because if you're in the middle of the team fights you can get focused down through your drain and ignite. If you get ignited then your drain's obviously not doing as much, but yeah, also you'll hopefully maybe possibly get a Zarmus Hourglass, which is obviously very useful in team fights and means that you can be even more so in the middle of team fights. Okay, but anyway sort of being a bit sloppy with this guide and not really yeah anyway right um so that's like your sort of role in team fight um um so how to lane basically how you want to lane is you want to be like obviously cs as much as possible but fiddlesticks he's not really a kind of guy that is gonna manage to get many kills in lane just because when you're draining people you're standing still and they can just run away and you're only really gonna kill people to be honest with your ultimate in lane up until you're about level whatever 10-ish when your drain is doing a lot of damage and you can literally just kill someone in a combo with drain so um yeah, you'll want to be, as you sort of, as mana becomes less and less of an issue in lane, you're going to want to be farming the wraiths and wolves of your own jungle. Hopefully you'll be getting given blue buff. I'm actually not being given blue buff this game because I don't know, I've got a, not a great jungle. Right here you can see, I saw Lux going bottom. I could have chased her, but there wouldn't be much point in it. I might as well just tell my team, which I did, because we were actually on Skype to each other. I was like... Lux is coming bottom, Lux is coming bottom, they didn't listen to me, and she helps kill both of them, and then I'm like, guys, I told you Lux is coming bottom, and they were like, oops. So anyway, uh, where was I? I think I was saying, yeah, as mana becomes less and less of an issue, you want to be killing wolves and wraiths as much as you can, you can go into enemy jungle and kill wolves, and well not wolves, but you can kill wraiths anyway, at least the big one, uh, as much as you can. Um, what else do I want to get out of the way? So yeah, uh, 
my item build. Right, my item build generally stays the same. It's pretty much you want to be getting a Deathfire Grasp. So, because of that, obviously you want to get your Cage's Lucky Pit as early as possible. Um, which is my first item after Boots. Obviously you go Boots first item, I do that on most champions. Um, and then after your Deathfire Grasp, um, you want to be getting... Or no, probably before, after your Cage's Lucky Pick, you want to be getting uh, Sork Shoes. And just sort of, it kind of depends on the enemy team, but you want to be building Tankiness and then Deathfire Grasp and Void Staff. So you'll see my build this game, I think I go Abyssal Scepter, second item, or after Sork Shoes. Um, so yeah, I think I build, gen a general build would be um, Sork Shoes, Deathfire Grasp, Void Staff, Abyssal Scepter, Zonya's Hourglass, Death Cap. So you might want to play that again because I said that quite fast, or I'll maybe put it in the description for once because I keep saying I'll put things in the description and don't because I'm a massive, massive uh, noob. Right, so yeah, that's your sort of build. You want to basically be building enough tankiness to be able to survive about two or three people for a few seconds. Then you also want to be building enough of it. So bad at this commentating stuff. Yeah, um, I just killed someone basically by going over. I saw her on the mini map with that wee ward, and I cross-stormed over the wall um, and killed her. Okay, I'm gonna try and never do that again. I'll fast forward through this mini and kill shenanigans. Um, okay, so yeah, I'm just killing the tower and I'm trying to kill minions. Swinging down the vein in the team fight, and I auto attacked him and Mumu to death. Fiddlesticks auto attacks are rather horrendous. I think I might kill Yes, I do kill him here. And I'm up to four kills and two assists now, so I'm actually quite rich. Uh, that was. Yeah, you can just see you're you're able to basically with your drain you're healing a lot, like and, and you're doing a lot of damage. Obviously, your stand still lows, you're susceptible to a lot of stuff, but basically, you're healing a lot. So, you're if you build yourself tanky, you're going to be able to drain more people, etc., etc., and you're going to just be generally more of a threat. And building tanky is also basically giving you offense as well because you're staying alive longer. So that's always good. Oh, I'm talking a lot. Right. So, hmm. I don't think I get any kills for a wee while. Oh god, do I die again here? Yeah, I do die again. I basically, I saw Lux was on really low mana, and I was like, oh, Lux is on really low mana. She does no damage. I'll just trade hits with her. And then, she ignites me. I didn't expect her to have ignite that soon after that team fight. I don't know how she actually had it. She must have either not used it or just been on cooldown until then. So yeah, that was, I guess it was my mistake, but no Okay, so I'm just being a massive noob and bang. I'm 4 for 3, but trust me, it gets better. Fiddlesticks is just absolute king late game. Like, Fiddlesticks is maybe one of the best. Maybe the best AP carry late game is just ridiculous. So here you see I actually I um, fear him and then I crow storm because basically my fear lasts two and a half seconds and crow storm takes a second and a half to channel. So if you fear someone, you can crow storm and still be doing damage for a second and a half. Uh, or a second even at this rank. Um, okay, so I think here I'm going to go check if enemy blue buff is up. It's not. Leave a ward there. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I talked about like Phil Six sort of advantages and disadvantages. I would say his advantages, he's really good 1v1. Really, really good 1v1 if the enemy's not got a silence. So... And if they do, then you just have to play a bit better. He's not necessarily bad if they have a silence, but you just have to play a bit better. What other advantages has he got? He's got a disgusting ultimate. His ultimate is just 